It's not a marketing slogan for a tank bottoms idea. Here it is. Tank bottoms. Tank tops for your bottom. That's so good. Yeah, yo, see, this is like the best clothing invention anyone's ever had. Replacing pockets with holes for ventilation. We're the best entrepreneurs ever. More like entrepreneur world. Cause our idea is a game changer. And here's some more lockers. And there's um those lockers over there. You name it, we got it. Hey guys, please give a warm welcome to our new student. Well, well, these are fellow eighth grader Jimmy Jr. and Z. Hello. What's up? Run, Will. We've always still can. <laughs> That's Louise and Jean, my siblings, little rascals. What grade are you in, Will? 14? No, just a tall eighth grader. I see. Uh, oh, hi, uh, Will. So, what, uh, what are you guys talking about? Oh, just a little something that's gonna revolutionize the fashion industry and like this video. It's called Tank Bottoms. Right, you're a uh, shorts with no pockets. Uh, yes, that's an oversimplified explanation of it, but yes. Oh, I just remembered I, um, I gotta go to class. <laughs> I'm out of here. Okay. But the bell hasn't even rung yet. Oh, man, I, sorry, I, I can't hear you over all this hallway chatter. I'll, I'll see you in class. All right. Zeke's usually not like that. Oh, I know what Zeke's like. You do? Yeah, we went to the same school in third grade. Everyone called him P Street Zeke. What? Why'd they call him that? Longest P, duration, or distance, or a fun combination of the two? Not exactly. Okay, well, should we keep the old door going? Have you shown the bigger wall yet? Bigger wall? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. See if you can guess what's your mind. Here's a hint. They're brown like their daddy's eyes. Hey, I'm Bob. I like to sweep, but I can't keep any customers at Zoom. Ha! Uh, Ryan could be mean. Well, I'm Jimmy. I like to stand in front of my restaurant. Wait, why are you coming over here? I'm bored. You must know what that's like, right? Because of your life. Ha! Okay, thanks for coming over to say that. That is slow at my place lately. You've been slow too. Uh, yeah. Do you need something? You know, you get one rat. Yeah, well, that's part of business. One pack of rats covered in roaches, and some people don't want to eat fish again. You had a pack of rats covered with roaches? Yeah. What? You never had that? No, not at the same time. Our rats and roaches. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're lucky. The burger ball pit? No, this is something I was trying. It's a bunch of tiny meatballs instead of a patty. Tiny meatballs? Yeah, I was just around. Jeez, holds all in place. <laughs> yeah? I mean, okay, goodbye. Oh, okay, bye. You're a part. Right, that was almost a normal conversation, but you're you, so you, you said that. That's you. Am I crazy or would this make a nice apartment? Get some houseplants, maybe a mini fridge. That's basically an upgrade from where we live now. So, had some more ideas about tank bottoms. Uh huh. Tank bottoms is kind of a mouthful, so I was thinking we call them TVs. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But then the problem is that's also what they call tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. See, are you even listening to me? Yeah, sorry. What are you looking at? Nothing, nothing. What? Tetherball? Oh my god, another TV. So, yeah, this is our tetherball. It can be sneaky, so if you play, be careful. Uh -huh. You wanna give this baby a spin? Oh, you missed it. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry, I'll be right back. Oh, okay. What do you think about this for a slogan? The TV you want again. Oh, oh, I love it. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go somewhere real fast, all right? Uh, what the heck? That's the second time today. He can just run off, huh? When he has to go, he has to go. He's he's freaking. The ketchup loves the mustard, but it makes the ketchup mustard so I give it a little space. So, what are the people today, Teddy? Uh, baby, just a cheeseburger. It fries. Really? Did you take a look at the burger of the day? Hey, uh, I don't know. Watch a little burger balls. Uh, yeah, there's a ball pin in your mouth and you taste buds are jumping in. It's interesting, Teddy. Oh, yeah, very fun. I just uh, don't want to have fun like that with a bunch of balls in my mouth. Fine. Some people just want to open new ideas, and you're done. Exactly. What? Nothing. What the? Jimmy, the pizza ball pit? Smart, right? I just tore up a pizza, smashed it in the balls, and put it on top of another pizza. Like a ball pit. You stole my idea. What? No, yours is a burger, mine's pizza. Totally different. It's totally different, Bob. It's the same name, which works for a burger because it's like a deconstructed. Um, 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 um. Look, Bob, we both had the same idea. We'll see who it works out better for. For whom it works out better. Ah, just go inside, Trev. What? Jeez, grammar matters. It's stealing, Jimmy. And you know what happens to thieves? What, Bob? They get their comeuppance. Comeuppance? What is that? From Mary Poppins? So what if it is? She was a great nanny. It's time for ravioli. I will not eat them slowly. No. I would be shocked if you did. You're seriously not eating the cafeteria? I don't feel like it today. Why, why are we all being put together? Why can't we just eat separately in quiet contemplation? I'm just gonna go to the library. But there's no food in the library, and you didn't bring a snack lunch. It doesn't make any sense. Wait, is this about Will? What was all that peace stuff about? Did you pee your pants or something and he made fun of you? Uh, I don't want to talk about it, J2. I just want to be alone in the library today. Not in a bad way. I love reading. I love it. Bye. Oh my gosh. I think Jake was bullied. My sweet best friend. Sweet, sweet Jake. Huh, so Will's a bully. Seems like it. Willie the bully, aka Wooly Bully. I don't like bullies, and I especially don't like them in our school. And in our sister's grade. I mean, what if he makes Tina pee and embarrasses her? She's already fighting an uphill battle. Yeah. We got nip this in the bud. I believe it's the butt. I think we should give Will a taste of his own medicine. Western medicine, not holistic at all. Me too. Bacon fries for ravioli. I mean, the plan to get revenge on Will for Z and show him that this bullying crap isn't gonna fly here. Oh, right, yeah. So, he needs to get a juice box. Uh -huh. You don't drink yours. I don't like that. Then he offered Tina and Will to see the crotch from us. And why would they sit near Tina's harmless siblings, right? They're terrific. They don't know that you have a juice box hidden out of sight aimed at Will's crotch. I will make small talk while you line up your shot. And when I say the words interesting ravioli, you squeeze the box, spraying apple juice on Will's crotch, making it look like a Peter's pants. And you'll stand up when he feels the juice and all your gross. Everybody, look at Peter's Street Will. The entire cafeteria looks over at him. They all point laugh, and then Will says, Well, didn't I get exactly what I deserve? Thanks, Louise and Jean, putting you in my place. In fact, you did this, but I don't know for sure. Hey, will I be reimbursed for any lost juice? In the next life, which could be soon if Will kills us. But it's a risk we have to take. You guys talking about doing something to Will? Something really heroic, yeah. Why? I feel bad for Z too, but I just don't think aggression is the answer. Um, it definitely is. If you bully, I'll bully. It's still bullying. Not in the mood for riddles. Ooh, those look interesting. What are they? Edible pillows full of cheese? Uh huh. Did you get your bun tightened? It looks gorgeous. I did. Thank you. Thank you. How's your regular cheeseburger that you can literally get any day, Teddy? Regular bun. Can't believe Pesto just stole my burger ball pit idea. You know, people sometimes have the same idea at the same time. Remember when Deep Impact and Army Gang came out the same year, or when Steve Harvey started going bald right when I started going bald? Spooky. It's not like that at all. I had the idea first. He saw it, and then he stole it. Oh my god, I think he's getting lined. Guys, no. They could be there for another reason. Well, a few feet apart and facing the same direction and waiting to get inside. Did you see what they're doing? Pesto's pizza balls. Such a fun idea. It was my idea. What was the burger of the day, boy? Do not make the same mistake I did. Uh, one burger of the day, please. Oh, looks fun. Don't patronize me more. Jeez, you really screwed that one up, boy. Hey guys, you guys stop me like this. Just kidding. Hold on, outside. Let's just over here. What? Why? The um, the lighting is all weird over there. Okay. See, you're here. What happened to the library? Was it too noisy? Oh, Miss Franz saw me and said I needed to get some nutrition. I told him I was reading a cookbook, so that should count. But he didn't agree. Then I wasn't reading a cookbook. I just held my hands like this. See, I just want you to know that I'm here for you and I care about you. Do you want some of my ravioli? Yes. I was talking to Zeke. And don't worry, Zeke. We got you covered. Thanks. But what? We're gonna shut Will the bully down. Willy bully. What? 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 You don't have to hide it, Zeke. We figured it out. We know you're a bully. Zeke was bully. Wait, wait, wait. And I get why you w
so you're not a bully. No. Oh, you do kind of have this whole don't mess with me vibe that has a lot of the girls around here going crazy. Other girls, not me, but I get it. I can see that. Like Zeke said, he was the bully. I was the bullied. I I'm gonna go try to dry off. Sorry, he's spraying juice on you. Wasn't bullying. That was just an accident. Zeke, what? What? How the hell? By the time I started going to school at Rocky Creek Elementary, where Will went, I'd already been to so many schools because my family moved around so much. I was always the new kid in it. Wasn't easy making friends. Between that and my impulse control issues, I just started wrestling kids like all the time before I even knew the sport. I couldn't help it. I just, just had a lot of nervous energy. Then one day I got a kid in the headlock, and I guess I caught him on his way to the bathroom, and also maybe he was scared because let me put him in a headlock, and he, well, he peed a little. And everyone pointed and laughed, and that's how it all started. After that first kid peed, the kids that thought it was fine were like, come hang out with us, and then I kept trying to make him laugh. And even though I only made that first kid pee, they, they called me Peace Freak Zeke, and yeah, Will was uh, one of the kids I believe. Peace Freak Zeke, Peace Freak Zeke. I mean, I had a group of friends, a nickname, and it was the first time I felt like, like I, I belonged. Wow. I know it's a lot. That's pretty bad, Zeke. Uh, I've been told I have the perfect neck for headlocks, but uh, I'm trying to cut down. I know it's awful. I don't like to talk about it. I don't even like to think about it. I'm not that person anymore. But Zeke, now you have the chance to apologize, make amends, right the wrongs of the past. You should definitely apologize. Maybe send him like an edible arrangement or your house. Maybe adopt a highway for him. Oh, um, Will, Will doesn't seem like he's, he's ready to hear an apology or talk to me at all. I think the best thing for me to do is just to keep a respectful distance. No, Zeke, just do it now. It's the only way to move forward. But uh, I, oops, that's the bell. Yes, we'll put a pen in this for now and just focus on our studies. Wait, Will, can you please answer the steps off right after school? Zeke has something he wants to tell you. Or if you're busy, that's totally cool. Late notice, I, I get it. You uh, probably have plans. <laughs> no, I'll be there. Great. Mm, great. Uh, come on, Will. I'll take you to your next class. I think we have algebra together. I'll just bring you there. <laughs> Trust me, Zeke. This is gonna be a good thing. Oh, oh boy. I guess I'll just take the rest of these things. There we go. Like a little Italian squirrel. Oh yeah. Good luck, Zeke. So, Bob, you're just gonna keep stealing or what? Someone's taking pictures of Tessa with a fancy camera. Did they get it from the paper? Oh my god, that's it. I'm going over there. Oh no, Bob, down. Please just wait, Bob. To what end? To what end? Just say why, Ward. Why? Are you asking that to me or to Bob? I don't know. I'm gonna expose it. I'm gonna tell that reporter person, if it is a reporter person, that it was my idea. Come on, Bob. We know you have the idea. You know you have the idea. You have another idea tomorrow. You don't have a heart attack with Jimmy Pesto. Maybe he's right, Bob. And my therapist would say that you should focus on your own happiness and not compare to other people. This therapist is an idiot. You take that back, Bob. Do not speak of Dr. Marjorie that way. That woman has put up with so much in her life. What? The boss never always rolls her way. Okay, I'm sorry. She's probably great. She's just never met Jimmy Pesto. Oh, Bob. So many little balls. We just wanted soup. I know what. I know. So I just stuck to myself. Balls, pizza balls, and then pizza ball pit. Boom. Oh my god. Bob, we're gonna be in the paper on the internet. We're really counts. My mom's finally gonna be proud of me. That's great, friend. Uh, I have something interesting for the article. Sorry, who are you? I am the guy who invented. <laughs> I invented. <laughs> I happen to have invented. Uh, look, I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna deadline. Okay? You should be interviewing me. Hmm. Who should I interview? The inventor of the pizza ball pit, or some guy who wants to be off the street and won't stop shrieking while I'm trying to work? I'm not shrieking. Let's go someplace quieter. Come back in the kitchen. I can show you the oven where it all happens. It looks like a microwave, but it's not exactly a microwave. Ugh. Hmm. So you're saying? Yes. I'm gonna make sure that that guy tells the world that Jimmy is a total fraud. All right. Want some water while you wing? No, I don't want water. Actually, yes, I'm a little thirsty. Thank you. Seven dollars. Got you. Classic me. Well, I'll see you later, anyway, JQ. I guess I'll head home. Try again tomorrow. Zeke, wait. I know what you're doing. You're trying to take this can down the road. Well, guess what? That road is a dead end. I know, but Zeke, we've all done things we're not proud of. I used to tell Andy Ollie that there was actually only one of them. It messed with them for weeks. Jeez. The point is, we recognize our mistakes and we learn from them. It's how we grow. Did we miss it? Did anyone DVR it? Not yet. And for all we know, we'll already went home. Here he comes. Hey. And this is what we do when the bell rings at the end of the day. We come outside. And that completes your welcome to our backstaff. Hey, well, Jake wants to tell you something, Jake. I'm, I'm sorry I bullied you. Okay. I'm sorry I did all this awful thing to you to impress people, picking headlocks and stuff. But I'm not that kid anymore, so I hope you can forgive me and we can be okay with each other moving forward. Wow, well, Freddy Hartfeld's apologies from Zeke over here. What you think? I do not accept. What? What the hell, Will? He didn't even apologize for what he actually did. Oh, but uh, what? Make me pee pants? He never made me pee. He got me in a headlock a few times, but that's not the really bad part. What's the really bad part? Hey, give me Jimmy. Okay, go. You have that thing right. You better get going. Get on there. Get out. Get. He made fun of my lisp. Oh, <gasps> your lips? They look fine, mate. They look completely normal. Not my lips. My lisp. What? Seriously? I can't believe you made fun of someone's list, Zeke. That's so messed up. It was just one time and I felt so bad. I, I never did it again. Wait, you have a list? I did when I was in third grade. I said, stop, Zeke. You're so stupid. But I had a list, so it came out. Stop, Zeke. You're so stupid. And Zeke made fun of me. I didn't want all those guys to see me cry, so I hid in the bathroom stall for the rest of the recess. Oh, well. And then some kids came in and they saw the closed stall door and they said, ooh, someone's pooping in there. And I said, no, I'm not. But I sounded like I was crying when I said it and crying in the bathroom seemed worse. So I leaned into the pooping thing and I said, I mean, yes, I am. And I made some parking for you. I'm sorry, Will. And Jimmy Jr., please. You're my best friend. You gotta know how sorry I am. I don't know what you're saying, Zeke. I don't even think I wanted to do tank with you anymore. Don't say that, you? I mean, yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but I have a speech impediment. Huh. Really? I never am. Yeah, I went through a lot of it, but sometimes it still shows up. You have to believe me. I never did anything like that again. I mean, I did some wrestling stuff, and never did speech stuff, or so much looks, or height, or weight, or anything. You have to forgive me, guys. There's gotta be something I can do. I honestly don't see how you fix this, Zeke. Mine never hurts. 100 bucks each, 50 to me for brokering the deal. Show them your butt, let them make fun of it. Fine. Oh, wow. Zeke, don't. I mean, you could, um, lick the booger wall. What? Yeah. Interesting. Because it would show you're really sorry. Okay. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna lick a booger wall. Wow. I'm not usually into after school activities, but I'll stick around for this one. <sighs> Look, how is this water not even good? Come on, Bob. We know you have the idea. You know you have the idea. You have another idea tomorrow. You should focus on your own happiness and not compare to other people. Let's just right, Bob. To what end? To what end? Just say why, Ward. Thanks again. I really love this. Oh, good. That guy's still here. I'm just gonna keep talking to his ass so he can't talk to me. See you later. Bye. Bob, what are you still doing here? Looking for some good food? That's a zoom. Well, I came over here to tell everyone that you're a liar. Stole my idea. <laughs> you are that. But now all I want to do is tell you something. What's that, Bob? I'd rather be me than you. <laughs> yeah, right. You'd rather be straight than by than have a popular place and a mostly restored 280Z. Come on. I can always think of other ideas, Jimmy. This wasn't even one of my best. It might be one of my worst. And since you and your customers like it, that's a red flag. Ouch. So this idea, you can have it. I don't need it. All I need is right up here. Oh, oh whoa. Sorry. I want that kind of confidence. Just, just, just zip it. Okay, zipping. Unzipping. Get back. Finally. What